Hello, welcome back. I have a crochet video for you today. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Grandma Gaines and this is Bohippian Life. And if you're ready and you have something to drink, let's get this party started. Today, we are going to crochet what I call Bohippian Sandals. Here is my pattern. Reworked many of times. Um, we're going to need a G hook. I have everything right here waiting the past few days. Um, yes, so a G hook or a four point to five millimeter. And an E, E hook. This one is a 3.5 millimeter. Um, we're gonna need your most favorite color of yarn. I love this color, um, but the reason, this isn't my favorite purple is, the reason I'm using this though is so that it shows up super easy on our video. And a pair of flip flops, Dollar Tree flip flops. And another reason I chose the color is it's pretty close to the, uh, the plaque. There I am throwing stuff at you. Welcome back. And then I throw stuff at you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, it's super close to the same color as the plastic or the rubber part that goes your foot goes in. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, we are set up here. Kinda. I'm gonna Get our flip flops ready. Now um, you can get your flip flop from anywhere. I get them at Dollar Tree. You can even already, you can use a flip flop you already have. Okay, right off the bat, what did I say? We are using the E-hook first. Let me grab that one. That is our smaller one. Make our slip knot. Give yourself plenty of room so you can hide that tail later. In fact, I'm gonna make it a little larger. There. And I can hide it and um, cut it off cut any end off. What we're going to do is we're going to single crochet around these straps first. No um, specific number of um, a stitch or anything. Just however many it takes to fill it up. So we're going to want to hide our make sure we're in here. We're just gonna single crochet around the whole thing. Oops, the first one's always the worst. Tighten it up. It's a little wonky at first, but I'm telling you, you'll get it. If you wanna use a larger hook, go right ahead. I like the smaller hook, I'll get more single crochets with my smaller hook and I, I like the look of it and we're just gonna cover that strap you know we push them down as we go because we want them the whole thing covered
Take your time, super easy. It is just a single crochet. You can make them as loose as you want or as tight as you want. I, again, like it tight so that you won't see the strap underneath. I mean, I might, I'm lucky this time they're, the colors match. Uh, generally, that doesn't happen. In fact, I'll show you, I'll show you ones that I wear right now. So these are the ones I wear. Um, right now we're doing the strap on mine. I added beads, a little bit longer of a strap to tie around my ankle. You could do these as long as you want to wrap a few times around the ankle. You could tie it in the back of your ankle, wrap it around, which is how I do it, wrap it around and then tie it in the front of my foot. But um, these are mine, the ones I wear all the time. I love these. Um, and these ones had a blue, has a fuzzy, a uh, blue strap. And I used white yarn, so it'll co it covers it up and covers it up nicely. Um, on this one, we are using a a four ply worsted weight yarn on these ones I used a, a three ply so it's tr it's your choice and I'm just gonna go ahead and sing, can, bleh, continue to single crochet and cover these straps up so I'll meet you when we get to the toe the toe When I cut these strands, I pull it a little bit um, so that when I cut it, it'll spring back and the strand will hide. So cut it close, being careful not to cut your uh, crochet stitches. And you can always move these where you want them. You want to hide it, that's fine. Find a way to hold your sandal. You'll get it figured out how to hold it. Bring your hook up to the top. We'll just adjust those stitches when we, um, this part of it. If you want, you don't have to. I just like the look of it going all over. It's so bohippian. Yes, I did. This looks way more difficult than it is, you guys. I'm telling you. It's super easy. And if you want a super, super cute pair of sandals for any occasion. Oh, I'm having difficulties. I've made a gazillion of these, and of course, because I want to do a video for you guys, it's going to be, make it look hard. 
you're like, oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry, Tracy. We realize it's just you. It's super easy. <laughs> it is just me. Um, I'm going to adjust these. Just push them down so I can cover the whole thing up. Slide them down. I'll be able to fit more in as well. All right, so I'm going to finish crocheting all the way around, and I will be back here. I'll meet you back here, but uh, you know me. I'll probably break in sooner. So we are at the toe again. I've done a few more stitches and just scrunched it down to make sure the side is good and covered. Super easy. You've probably already figured it out. Um, you just swoop past the toe part and grab that yarn. That's it, you guys. You're like, you figured that's what it was. And I'm having difficulties. Hold on. Grab it. And put your stitch in. Make it, you know, you could push it close together. Or do a few and then snug them closer together. I think these are adorable and it's covering up nicely. All right, I'll see you in a few. I have just a few more single crochets to put in and this strap will be covered. And then we will fasten off and do the fun part. I'm just squishing as many in there as I can get. I'm getting tangled. I think I can get one more. I have it squished pretty good. And then I'll, let's see, I'll spread it out. All right, so I'm going to give myself a nice long tail. Actually, chain one to lock that in nice and tight. Nice long tail. Cut it off. Pull. So we're going to lock that in. And now you can just play with your yarn. Spread those out. On both sides. We're going to hide this strand. And get ready to do the center. So I'm just going to take my small hook, the same one we have been working with. And I'm just going to shove it in the back somewhere. Shove it in somewhere. And... Feed it through and pull that yarn once I get there. Pull this strand tight and it will hide. Oh, I lost it. Oh, you guys. There it is. There we go. And again, like I said at the beginning, I like to pull it a little snug. So when I trim it, it'll hide inside. Those pieces will go to the birds. And then again, you can just adjust those straps how you want them. 
They're so stinking pretty. And we are going to, there we go, flip that around where it goes. Change our hook. Put the scissors back. Uh, we are now going to the G hook. I try to do this, I'm trying to do this on black so that you can see real well. And of course, I don't give myself much room. Why would I do that, right? You guys, don't forget your coffee. Don't let it get cold on you. All right. Now, I'm not going to put beads on these ones. Uh, if you don't remember, uh, I will try to link the video on the beadwork down in uh, one of the bottom corners. So now is the time to put the beads on before you crochet. So uh, if you're putting beads on, string those beads on now. And if you put too many on, who cares? It doesn't matter. You can, you know, it's good to have too many instead of not enough. Again, let's get this started. So we are going to slip knot it. And it says chain three, 12 double crochets in the first chain. All right, chain three. One, two, three. Twelve, twelve double crochets in our first chain. Oops. Yep. There we go. One. Four, five, hold on one second. I want to write this number down. I always have scrap paper. Um, in case I have to walk away, or like right now, um, I'm on five out of 12 double crochets. I'll be right back. And I'm hiding the tail as well. So five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, what am I doing? Something happened. Hold on. There we go. 11, one more, 12. So the first chain three was our first uh, double crochet. So for a total of 13. We are going to slip stitch to the first double crochet, which is, oh my goodness, excuse me. The first, nope, the third chain of our chain three. The upper, just squish it in there somehow. It's there, I promise. There it is. Slip. Oh my gosh, it's being difficult. And 
and we have a beautiful center circle. There'll be more. All right. Slip stitch to the first. We are going to chain one, single crochet the next stitch. Um, single crochet the same stitch. Chain two. single crochet the next two stitches. We're making a corner. Okay, I wanted to make sure I didn't get this wrong. So we have slip stitch to join to make our circle. We have chained one and single crocheted the next stitch. Now, we are in the same stitch, we're going to chain two, because like I said, we're making a corner. And, single crochet, same stitch. That is a corner. Single crochet the next two stitches. So, single crochet one, single crochet two, and then single crochet the third, chain two, single crochet the same, that's another corner, single crochet one, single crochet two, single crochet the next one, this is our corner, chain two, Single crochet the same spot. Here's our corner chain two, single crochet the same spot. We should have two left. One, two, slip stitch to the first single crochet, which is right here. chain one, oh, scissors, I'm like looking all over for my scissors, okay, cut it off, fasten off, there, now we have a cute little centerpiece for our sandal. Um, again, if you wanted, you would if you wanted beads, you would have you could have put one in the middle. And we are going to attach this just like that. Find the darning needle real quick. I actually I should call it the tapestry needle. So I have a metal one and some uh, plastic ones. So you use whatever you want. And we're going to attach this part to our sandal. Now, if I would have thought about it, I would have made sure I had a super long tail and I would use that to go up, but 
because I didn't, I won't. And now we have to cut another long strand. But I mean, it doesn't, we're just snugging it in. And what do we have? We have like one, two, three, four, five on each side, something like that. I'll probably hide where the tail is down here. Give myself a nice long strand. Always, I always give myself more than I need. It's better to have too much than not enough. Just gonna thread my needle. And again, all these are going to get hidden. And we're going to stick it in there. So a change of plan, I decided to hide these first. We're just going to... Oops make it look a little better okay so I'm gonna hide these and I'll be right back and I'm just gonna tie a, a tie tie a tiny knot tie a tiny knot uh, you could use a fabric glue hot glue if you want to really make sure that knot is not coming apart not not and that was not a knock-knock joke. It was a not-not joke. <laughs> you feel like it was not at all a joke. <laughs> so I'm just going to trim these real quick. And if you find your square is like out of square, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. All right. Now we're going to re-thread the needle. Maybe, there we go. It's a huge needle, how can I miss it? How can I have difficulties? All right, so we're gonna go down through here. Do I wanna start, what end do I wanna start on? Probably this one. All right, Let's. right, let me figure that out. So I have decided to start on this end and we're gonna come from the underside sticking our needle up in there I uh, I am going to go through the out side strand giving myself plenty and just working sewing your way right through, right through your yarn. No big deal. And you're not gonna see it. You can do this however you want. You don't, if you have a better way of attaching. Do you want to get every single stitch? Because this is going on your foot. You don't want it to um, be loose and flopping around. This is the uh, one of the corners. I hope I'm in frame. I want to make sure that corner is right at the toe. And I'm going to go through that one 
because it's corner, there's an extra stitch. We did two for that corner. There we go. I snug it up nice and tight. And again, you could go through both of your single crochets if you want. I am just going through the um, the outside. The, uh, the V part of our stitch right here, I'm, my fingers are probably in the way. The V part, I'm just going through one of it, not both. Okay. You're like, yep, got it. Good. Onward. Snug it up. It looks so cute. I love these, you guys. These would be stinking adorable with anything. Um, but can you can you picture um little girl in a cute little pair of sandals? Matchy matchy, you know. There we go. I knotted it up. And now the last one is the corner again. You cannot do these wrong. I want to enforce this corner, so I'm going to come down through. like that there so it lays nice and flat and now we're just going to tie knot it off um if you want you could weave it down in and out again you're not going to see it I'm going to weave it to the other side. Just taking my time working my way over. And when I get there, I'm going to come out the bottom side. Just manipulating that hook to go where, or needle to go where you want it to go. You cannot mess anything up. I got way too much yarn, but that's all right. And again, we're just going to fasten these off and hide them. I like to put three and um, again I'm gonna hide these so I'm just gonna put both strands through my hook it's not a hook both strands through my needle and hide them which is simply just feeding them through the back of your stitches. That's all, no big deal. And we're going to snip them off. Being careful not to cut any of our crochet stitches. We are almost done. 
We are almost done with this adorable shoe. Coffee break. The next thing we do with our G hook, we are going to chain 80 to 100 chain, chain 80 to 100. And this is going to be the strap that goes around our ankle. So go ahead and make yourself that little slip knot. Chain 80 to 100. Um, and again, you can use either the, uh, the G or the E. You can use any size hook you want. I'm going to keep them close to the same size. Um, I'm going to, um, I'll meet you back here when I have 80 to 100 chains, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. I'm going to do 101 because I'm going to cut it and that's going to be my tie off. So yeah, now I have 100. And what we're going to do is we're going to find that corner again, which is right there. Is we have a single crochet, a chain one, and a single crochet. Oopsie, wrong spot. Grab that yarn. Pull it through. There you go. Now, if you want to put this in a knot so it does not come off there, or I think that's just an extra step that you really do not need to take. Um, you have it going right through that corner there, and it's going to move nicely. Isn't it stinking adorable? Well, let's just tie this up real quick. I think it's super cute and um let's I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and then we'll end this video so again we're gonna single crochet and cover up the strap these are great little gifts too or if you are having a beach wedding, a beach party, a uh, bridal shower, baby, sh I don't know, anything. Oh my goodness, you could make some for the whole party. All right, again, let's do this one more time. Also, you guys, before I start, I wanted to let you know that because, you know, with any flip-flop, you have uh, the, uh, the chance where they're going to pull through. Now, they've been, Dollar Tree's been doing a whole lot better on their uh, flip-flops, their design. The, what you could do to make these last longer is a little dab of hot glue in there. And press them in or I truly prefer uh, the uh, outdoor silicone caulk I've mentioned it many a times you can get them at all of the um, uh, discount shopping stores and uh, just put a little dab you could either put a dab on the shoe itself or on the nub the little nubby there and then hold it up nice and you know, hold it where it's supposed to be. And there's a better off chance that that's not going to come apart. All right. So I'm going to pause this video. And I am going to cover that strap up. 
and I'll be back. So I thought maybe I should cut in real quick and say thank you for um, waiting, sticking around and waiting for me. Um, July 13th, my uncle passed away and he has no children. He's never been married. Um, so my aunt and my other two uncles, uh, uh, my husband and myself, uh, have been taking care of all of his affairs. So that's, um, that's why I haven't been on. Um, it's not only because of uh, my husband being on strike, um, but yeah, with my uncle passing away and cleaning out his home and taking care of his personal and private affairs, life happens so fast, you guys. It's unbelievable. It's so sad. Uh, but I wanted to, again, say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here for me. You guys are the best. When you figure out how to hold that shoe just right, it's so much easier getting them the stitches where you like them, where you would like them to be. It's just figuring out where to hold the shoe and how to hold the shoe. The shoe. Oops, now I'm getting tangled. Hold it. No, we just need more yarn. We're not tangled. I'm going to move these down a little. Just slide them down. No big deal. Keep going. Next part. Um, G hook. Chain 3. 11 double crochets in the beginning. For a total of 12. Because the first three... Uh, the three chains is our first double crochet. So... One... Doesn't want to go in there. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Two, I'm going to meet you back here. When I'm done with all 11 of them for a total of 12. Slip stitch in the third chain of the first three. Chain one, single crochet, the next stitch. Chain two, single crochet the same stitch. Oh, what am I doing here? Single crochet. That's a corner. So, single crochet one, two. This is going to be our corner. Two, now our corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, now we're going to go one, two, 
two in our corner. And crochet. We're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet and fasten off. There. Now we have our next centerpiece. I'm going to go ahead and hide these and we're going to attach it. And again, we're just going to crochet the or crochet. Stitch this into place. They do not have to be stitch for stitch. And again, I'm using this outside one. I'm not going through both. Not pulling it too tight so it doesn't pucker. I'm sure I have way too much yarn, but that's okay. I'm at the center, so I'm gonna make sure I get it nice and tight around that corner we have down there. Because if we did things right, that corner will be right in the toe. And we want that nice and tight. All right, so I'm going to finish this up. Oh, we might as well just finish it together. We only have a few more. And snugging this side up real good because it is another corner, but also the end right here. So we wanna make sure that is nice and snug. And going through the back again, I'm gonna make my way over to my first strand. So just Pushing the yarn through the underside of the strap, making my way all the way over to here. Oops, I got one of my hairs in there. And again, I'm going to knot this really good. I go one way, I reverse it, and in case I reversed it the wrong way, I go back the other way. <laughs> and again, you could put a little dab on there, a little dab will do ya. Or, I'm going to trim these down a little bit and um, hide these real quick. And then we're going to make our strap and it'll be finished. Our shoes will be done. So again, I'm just gonna hide these. Making my way all the way down as far as I wanna go, as far. My choice, your choice.
pulling the strings out. And cutting them. And again, when you do it like that, they will fall into place and hide. Next thing we do is crochet single uh, chain chain uh, strap. And again, I'm using my G hook. And we are going to do 100. Well, that's what I did on my first one. <clears throat> Trying not to lose count because you want them kind of the same length. And not too snug either. You want to keep a nice loose chain if you can. And I will meet you back here when I'm done. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, extra one to fasten off, snug it up. It through the center or not the center um a corner and make sure you have a couple even straps and you can always trim these down you could put a little bling or a little charm on them if you want. I'm just going to trim them down a tad. And this one, too. There. We'll just put a little tie in this. And those are our, those are my Bohippian style Dollar Tree flip flops. If you like this type of content, I hope you give my video a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We would love to have you in the family.